This is Marcel Brown, the most trusted name in technology, with your technology history for April 2nd and April 3rd. April 2nd, 1973, the first computerized legal search service, Lexis, launches at a press conference in New York City. The name was coined from the Latin word lex, meaning law, and the letters IS for information service. Featuring only the full text searches of New York and Ohio State case law at launch, the goal of Lexis was to allow law firms to access their legal databases directly without the need for an intermediary professional, such as a librarian. Legal offices would access Lexis through dedicated terminals, which was an impressive feat since this was well before personal computing had become mainstream. By 1974, Lexis was hosted on an IBM System 370 Model 155 mainframe and had added the entire United States code. It took until 1980 for Lexis to complete entering all U.S. federal and state cases, and it was not until February of 2020 that the databases were transitioned to Internet cloud hosting and the legacy mainframes shut down. April 2, 1980, Microsoft announces its first hardware product, the Z80 SoftCard. The SoftCard is a microprocessor that plugs into the Apple II personal computer, allowing it to run programs written for the CPM operating system. CPM was a very popular operating system for early personal computers, along with much of the software written for it. In particular, the word processor WordStar is so popular that people will purchase the soft card and a companion 80-column card just to run it on the Apple II. At one point, the soft card product will bring in about half of Microsoft's total revenue. It was discontinued in 1986 as CPM's popularity declined. As a young kid, I actually remember working with the uh, Z80 system. I really didn't know what it was and how different it was. I just remembered it looked very different than the Apple operating system at the time. April 3, 1966, the Soviet space probe Luna 10 becomes the first spacecraft to orbit around the moon. It was launched by the Soviet Union from an Earth-orbiting platform on March 31st. Luna's 10 battery will operate for 460 lunar orbits before deactivating as planned on May 30th, 1966. April 3rd, 1973, Martin Cooper, considered the father of the cellular phone, makes the first cell phone call on a New York City street. And that's your technology history. For more, tune in tomorrow and visit my website, thisdayintechhistory.com. Search for and subscribe to It's 505, wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts.